people's biggest concern is that you know, if they, as they get as they're getting older, if they misplace their glasses or the keys, that you know they're showing the first signs of Alzheimer's disease. Well, you know that happens to everybody. Uh, what I think. So that's a misconception. Also, you know, not being able to find your car in a parking lot because you were rushing in and you left it and you went into the store to pick up something and you ran back and now you can't remember where exactly you parked. It's also not a sign of Alzheimer's disease. Where we start to get worried is when you repeatedly miss appointments, repeat something to your spouse or your partner that you said you know, over and over again or a consistent loss of short-term memory. And by short-term, I mean things that happened just recently. Often family members say, well, he can't remember what day it is or what we did last night, but he remembers things from years ago. Well, the hippocampus is where we make new memories, and then we store them other places in the brain. And, you know, if you remember a smell that reminds you of something you did in your childhood, or uh, I always remember my mother's hairspray. Occasionally I'll smell it and it reminds me of my mother because it, it brings back that, that odor that I remember. And so those are stored other places. That's not the hippocampus. As the disease spreads, long-term memories are affected too. The other misconception is people feel that if they uh, take multi, you know, antioxidants, uh, they're not really going to get disease. And th the truth is that there really is no evidence that antioxidants prevent you from getting disease. There's been a couple of trials suggesting that vitamin E in modest doses will slow the progression, but it doesn't prevent the disease. Right now, the only behavior change that we know that is helpful is physical exercise. And people who do a heart-healthy diet, a heart-healthy re regimen of exercise, it helps lower their risk. There's, it's been repeatedly shown. There are actually now clinical trials that have shown evidence that this is, in fact, the case, that you can reduce your risk with a heart-healthy diet and a regimen of exercise. And uh, there's even evidence in people with mild disease that it slows the progression of the disease. So we now recommend people heart-healthy diet, take up walking or something. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to go to the gym and work out it with rates, but you know, 30 minutes of regular exercises three to four times a week is plenty.